Welcome back to my New York Jets franchise rebuild here on Madden 24. In the last episode, we actually lost back-to-back -back games, which has put us in a really weird position for this season. Because at the start of the last episode, we were actually in the one seed where the Baltimore Ravens are now. But obviously, after a couple back-to-back -back losses, we lost that spot, where we also lost our lead in the division because we were all the way down to the five seed. So obviously in this game, we will be looking to rebound a bit as we get to take on the 5-8 New Orleans Saints. But we do have a team turmoil scenario here, and we need to allow two or fewer offensive touchdowns. However, we also have a cold opponent scenario. We're going to say we have no fear going into this game. The Saints are struggling, and all players will have negative 5 break tackle, play rack, and tackle for this game. Checking out the Saints roster here, their quarterback is going to be a 74 overall Kenny Pickett. At running back, they have an 81 overall in Alvin Kamara. Wide receiver is an 88 Chris Olave, a 75 KJ Hamler, and a 74 in Torrey Horton. At tight ends, a 77. Left tackle will be a 74. Left guard's a 75. Center is a 58 overall because their starter is actually injured. Right guard's a 79, and right tackle will be an 88. Now jumping over the defense, they have a 73 overall at left end, at right end is a 79, defensive tackle will be a 75, outside linebacker is a 68, middle linebacker is a 73, right outside linebacker is an 80, at corner they do have a 90 overall in Marshawn Lattimore, free safety is an 81 Tyron Matthew, and then strong safety is a 77. I don't want to say these games right now are must win on the season. But we have not secured a playoff spot just yet, so a meltdown would completely derail this season. So let's try to avoid losing a third straight game. The Saints would get the ball first, and now they face a possible three and out. And that's going to be Zach Wilson in at quarterback, not Kenny Pickett, but that's just going to be a one-yard gain. So Wilson gets to play against his former team today. Their punter would absolutely kill that ball, so we take over at our own eight-yard line. And now McDonald lines up under center. Brees Hall is the running back, and we give it to Hall, who will go right up the middle, and we will start today with about a five-yard carry. Well, go ahead and nullify that. It's now a second and ten, following a false start before we could snap it on the next play. McDonald will look to pass over the middle. That'll be caught by, I believe, Jalen Waddle for a four-yard play. Will we avoid a three and out of our own here from our own 12-yard line? McDonald will look to pass. He's going to go downfield. That'll be caught and held on to through contact by Brendan Rice. First down, Jets. On the very next play, we would get a three-yard run from Brees Hall. So now a second and seven, and that's going to go incomplete. Nowhere near anybody. So that sets up another third down for the Jets offense. McDonald back in shotgun will drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket. He's going to load up and go deep downfield, apparently. He's got a man in a foot race, and that'll be knocked away from Jalen Waddle. On the Saints' next drive, Zach Wilson has managed to get them into Jets territory where they face a third and seven from the 23. He will drop back to pass. He's going to fire this downfield and miss Chris Olave. They will settle for a field goal. Now we are down 3 nothing and face a possible three now here. It's a third and five. McDonald will look to pass. He's going to let this one go and miss Brees Hall. We will punt it away yet again. The Saints are once again deep in Jets territory. It's a second and four from the 18-yard line. Wilson will line up under center. They're going to give that one to Kamara, who goes to the outside, has the first down, and is brought down to the 10 to set up a first and goal. No gain on the very next run from Kamara leads to a second and goal. Wilson lines up under center. He'll send a man in motion. It's going to be a fake, and then a handoff to Kamara, who is buried in the backfield. A third and goal from the 13. Are we going to hold them to yet another field goal try? Wilson comes out with a five wide set. He will take the snap and look to go to the end zone. He's going to let this one go to the outside. That is caught, but nowhere near the goal line, and it's a fourth and goal. They'll settle for another field goal. Jared McDonald now faces a third and one at the Saints' 39-yard line. He lines up under center. Blake Corm is in at running back. He'll drop back to the pass, and he finds his man on the outside, caught by Garrett Wilson to the 26-yard line. Able to keep this drive alive. Now McDonald comes out in shotgun with Brees Hall in at running back. He'll drop back to pass again. He's going to let this one go deep downfield. He's got a man touchdown to Jalen Waddle, and we should have a one-point lead. With a minute 22 to go here in the half, they face a third and 11 from the Jets 43. Wilson out of shotgun. will run a play action. Now he's going to fire this one deep downfield. He's got a man, and they convert on the third down. An incomplete pass would then set up a second and 10 with 39 seconds to play. Wilson will look to pass again, going downfield into the end zone. Touchdown to Jawan Johnson. But now we get to jump into the second half where we face a third and eight from the Saints 28. He's going downfield and he's got Brock Bowers down to the five-yard line. First and goal Jets. 
McDonald will come out in shotgun, looking to pass again. He's once again going to the outside. That's caught by Waddle, and they say he's into the end zone for the second time today. The Saints are now staring at a possible three and out here. It's a third and six from their own 29. Wilson will take the snap, a third of the outside, caught by Kamara, and this drive will continue. However, just a couple plays later, it's already a third and four from the 48-yard line. Wilson back in shotgun will once again look to pass. Another quick throw will be caught for the first down, this one by Chris Olave. But how about another third down just a couple plays later? It's a third and two from the Jets, 33. He comes out in an eye formation. He'll take the snap, fake it to Kamara. Now Wilson dumps this one off, caught by his tight end, but they don't have the first down, fourth and one. But this time they will attempt a long field goal. I kind of expected them to go for this one, but this will be about a 48 yard attempt. The kick is away and this one will be good, giving them a two point lead. On the following Jets drive, we're now in the fourth quarter with a third and seven at the Saints 38 yard line. McDonald back in shotgun, will drop back to pass. He's gonna go deep over the middle. He finds Garrett Wilson to keep the drive alive to the 23 yard line. Now McDonald's gonna go under center. Brees Hall is the running back here. He will drop back to pass, though. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Waddle, who goes out of bounds for just a four-yard play. That brings up a second and six. McDonald back in shotgun again. Hall is still the running back here. At the 19-yard line, we give it to Brees Hall, and Hall can't find any space. He will be brought down for no gain on the play. That sets up a third and six with a five-wide set for the Jets offense. McDonald will look to pass here. Standing in the pocket. Now rolling to the outside, and he's going to get sacked on the play. We will send out Jake Elliott. On a 42-yard try, we could take a one-point lead. The kick is away, and it is good. Zach Wilson faces another third down on their next drive. This time it's a third and six from their own 28. He'll drop back to pass, going downfield, and that one's going to fall incomplete. Knocked out of his hands, I believe, by Quincy Williams. Following that Saints 3 now, we may have a 3 now of our own. It's a 3rd and 9 from the 33. McDonald will go deep downfield, and that's going to be knocked away. He was trying to get it to Brendan Rice. The Saints will get the ball back one more time. And they have managed to drive all the way to their own 47-yard line for a 3rd and 4 with 6.27 to play. Zach Wilson back in shotgun will drop back to pass and look to go downfield. He throws on the run to the outside to a wide open man, and they will get to keep this drive moving. We're officially under six minutes to play in this game. Wilson back in shotgun. Kamara is the running back. He'll take the snap. He looks to pass. Rolling to the outside under a lot of pressure, and he will finally get rid of it at the last possible second. Now it's a second and ten. He's back in shotgun again. Wilson will take the snap, and he's going to roll to the outside. He's going to actually take off here and dive down for about a four-yard carry. That sets up a third and six from our 43-yard line. Wilson back in shotgun will drop back to pass again. He's going to go downfield, and he will find his man for the first down to about the 31-yard line. So with their new set of downs, they come out in shotgun again. He's going downfield immediately and finds his man, but we knock it out, so it leads to a second and ten. They'll line up in shotgun one more time, but this time it's going to be a play fake to Kamara. Now rolling to the outside under pressure on the play, and he will throw it away once again at the last possible second. I believe it was Will McDonald applying the pressure that time. On third and ten from the 31, Wilson will drop back to pass here. He's going to roll to the outside again, throw all the run. That's going to be caught and immediately brought down by Sauce Gardner. Fourth down. But they are obviously going to send out their kicker for about a 44-yard try to try to take the lead. The kick is away, and it is good. So that will send the offense out with 4.02 to play, down by two. McDonald will take the snap going deep downfield of the first play, finds Garrett Wilson all the way to the 45. On the next play, we would give it to Brees Hall for a gain of three. So now it's a second and seven with about three minutes to play. That's a quick pass to Jalen Waddle, and that will set up a third and two at the Saints 47. McDonald lines up under center. Brees Hall is the running back. Heron is in at fullback. We will send Heron in motion. It'll be a handoff to Brees Hall, and he will break that tackle, but ultimately not get the first down. That sets up a fourth and five. That will set up a five-wide set. Will we let it go down to the two-minute warning? All alone in the backfield. No, we won't. He will take the snap, and a quick throw to the outside will be caught. Do they give him the first down? No, they don't. They rule a turnover on downs. That takes us to the two-minute warning. Now, this game is not over. We can still get the ball back. From under center, handoff to Kamara up the middle, and he will be met and brought down for a three-yard play. We burn our first timeout. Now it's a second and seven. 
Wilson back in shotgun again. We'll hand off to Kamara again to the outside and looking for room getting brought down to set up a third and two. We burn our second timeout. Now from R47, Wilson back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and he's going to look to pass this time. Goes downfield and finds a wide open man. First down Jets. But now the Saints have to burn a timeout because KJ Hamler is injured. A minute 44 to play. I don't really know if it's going to matter here. Hand off to Kamara and he's to the outside and he sets up a second and inches. So one more first down in this game is 100% over. Hell, it might be over now. I just don't feel like doing that math. Hand off to Kamara for the first down, but there is a flag. So let's see exactly what's going to happen here because that will stop the clock. That's a holding on the Saints. Now, did he have the first down already? No, he did not. So that makes it a second and nine, and the clock is stopped in a minute 36 to play. Now they're going to have to Kamara again to go right at the middle, and it doesn't matter because he gets the first down anyway, and the Saints are going to win this game. Well, following a 9-2 and two start of the year, this has been quite the last few games. Now in a three-game losing streak, and we are down to 9-5 and five on the year. Quarterback Jared McDonald, 16 of 22 for 170 yards and two touchdowns. He was pretty accurate, but could not really put the ball downfield at all today. Running the ball, Brees Hall only got 68 yards, and then receiving Jalen Waddle, 5 for 44, and a couple scores. Over on defense, Quincy Williams led the team in tackles. We only got two sacks, one from John Franklin Myers, and then Jermaine Johnson and Quinnen Williams shared one, and we got no interceptions. Now, Zach Wilson coming back to MetLife goes 23 for 32, 255 and a score on the ground. Alvin Kamara, 90 yards on the ground. And then Chris Olave, 7 for 96. And Jawan Johnson, 5 for 48 and a score. Before we get into the next game, we do have a few upgrade points, starting with wide receiver Brendan Rice. He's getting plus due to awareness, catching traffic, deep route, medium route, and spin move, and 1-2 spectacular catching. Then we also have rookie corner Anton Lane, who's getting an upgrade point. He's getting plus one to change of direction, press, and tackle, and two to his man coverage. Then finally is rookie middle linebacker Damian Bryant, who goes up to an 80 overall, getting plus one to pursuit and zone coverage, and two to his tackling. Well, unfortunately, with our loss, the Bills ended up winning, so they now take a one-game lead in the division, and we get to play the team right now with the best record in the league. The Philadelphia Eagles are currently 11-3, have already secured themselves a playoff spot. Obviously, they're still trying to get the number one seed here, and if we go take a look at the playoff picture right now, we have fallen down to the sixth seed. I think this is going to end up being a really, really tough game for us. They are led by 95 overall Jalen Hurts at running back a 90 overall in DeAndre Swift at wide receiver a 98 AJ Brown an 89 Devonte Smith and an 82 overall in Xavier Leggett. I think I said your name right. Probably didn't. They have an 87 overall tight end in Dallas Goddard. Left tackles an 89 left guards an 86 center is a 68 right guards a 75 and right tackle is a 92. Now over on defense, they have an 80 overall at left end, an 88 overall Josh Sweat at right end. Defensive tackles a 90 overall Jalen Carter and an 83 in Jordan Davis. Outside linebackers a 92 Hassan Reddick. Middle linebackers a 77. Right outside linebackers a 75 in Nolan Smith. At corner, that's an 89 overall in Darius Slay, an 81 in James Bradbury, and a 79 in Jonathan Jones. At free safety is a 72, and strong safety is an 85. We have got to figure out exactly what is going on with this team and causing this collapse. If we can figure it out this week, this would be a great win to build some momentum for the last two games of the season. Philadelphia would get the ball first, and they face a third and 15 here. Jalen under pressure, rolling to the outside. He's going to throw it deep downfield, and that one will be tipped in the air and then caught anyway, I believe, by A.J. Brown. Wow, that is not the first play I wanted to see. Now on the next play, Jalen going to go downfield, and that one will be knocked out of the hands of Devontae Smith. Now on a second and 10. At the 29-yard line, he'll take the snap, run the play action to Swift, and now he's going to throw to the outside, caught by Goddard, who breaks that tackle upfield and will get the first down to the 15-yard line. It's now a shotgun set for Hurts in the offense here. From inside the red zone, he'll look to pass again. He's going to throw to the outside. That's going to be caught by Goddard for a gain of about six yards, but John Franklin Myers is injured on our defensive line. Obviously not something I really wanted to see happen, but now it's a second and four. They hand off to DeAndre Swift up the middle, and he walks into the end zone completely untouched. All right, well, let's see if McDonald and the offense can respond to that. We get to start at our own 25-yard line. He's back in shotgun. He'll look to pass on the first play to the outside. That'll be caught by Bowers, who will have the first down for a gain of 10. 
We would give it to Brees Hall for a two-yard carry on the next play. So now it's a second and eight. McDonald back in shotgun. We're going to go back to Brees, and he is buried in the backfield by Jordan Davis. That sets up a third and 12 for the Jets offense now. McDonald back in shotgun. We'll have to drop back to pass. He's going to step up in the pocket. He may try to take off, and he will. He'll break that tackle, but fumble the ball, and there are only Eagles around, but somehow McDonald dove back on top of it. A great save from our rookie quarterback. Now the Eagles 45-yard line. It's a new set of downs. We hand off to Brees Hall, who has to break a tackle immediately and still somehow turns that into a five-yard carry. McDonald comes back in shotgun for the next play. He'll look to pass. He's going to take off right up the middle again for another first down run. I don't know why you're taking these hits, but he gets down to the 25. That will set up a five wide set for the Jets offense. He'll take the snap. It's going to be a quick throw to the outside and right off the stomach of Brendan Rice. Just a fantastic effort. That leads to a second and 10. McDonald out of shotgun again. We'll drop back to pass, and he's under pressure, but he finds Brock Bowers. There is a flag, and I think it's going to be roughing the passer on Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and find out. Personal foul, roughing the passer. They would call it on Jordan Davis, so it makes it a first and goal at the 10-yard line. McDonald back in shotgun. Blake Corum is the running back, but he will look to pass here. Going over the middle and missing everybody. Now it's a second angle. He's back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass again. He's going to go over the middle. That'll be caught by Brendan Rice for about a five-yard play. That sets up a third angle from the five-yard line. He lines up under center. He will draw back to pass again, go into the end zone, and overthrowing Garrett Wilson. So we would settle for a field goal to make it 7-3, to three, but now Philadelphia has driven back into Jets territory. where They face a third and inches from the 16, handoff to Swift, and he will get buried in the backfield, bringing up a fourth and two. But they are not going to settle for a field goal. They will come out and go for it. Jalen's back in shotgun. Swift is the running back. We'll bring in a blitz, and he finds his man wide open over the middle. Dallas Goddard down to the three-yard line, first and goal, Eagles. They line up in shotgun again. DeAndre Swift is the running back, and it's going to be a read option. Jalen to the outside will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia, to make it 14-3. All right, I tried to simulate a bit of the Jets' drive, and Brees Hall breaks a 75-yard touchdown in simulation, so we make it 14-10. At least our offense has some sort of life. And then right before I jumped into Philadelphia's next drive, they got all the way to the 20-yard line. C.J. Mosley comes away with a pick, so maybe our offense can take advantage of that. On the Jets' drive, they face a third and three from their own 45-yard line, looking to keep the drive alive. McDonald will take the snap, roll into the outside. He's going to take off here. He has the first down and more, getting brought down at Philadelphia's 46-yard line. But now Elijah Vera Tucker, our guard, is injured. A three-yard game from Brees Hall in the next play brings up a second and seven. McDonald will go under center. Hall is still in the backfield. We send our fullback Heron in motion. We give it to Hall, who is met by Hassan Reddick immediately. That sets up a third and 12. McDonald on the offense. He comes out with a five wide set. Looking to go deep downfield, and he will look to go, and that's going to be caught by Brock Bowers down to the 18. How about another five wide set? It worked on the last play. Let's see if it can work again. From the red zone, McDonald will drop back to pass. He's going to dump this one underneath. That's caught by Brendan Rice, and he will get down to the 10-yard line, setting up a second and two. McDonald back in shotgun here. Brees Hall is the running back, and that's where we go with it. Never mind, it's a read option. McDonald will have the first down himself, getting brought down to the 8-yard line. Now a first and goal. McDonald back in shotgun from the 8. He'll take the snap and look to pass. Standing in the pocket. He's going to throw on the run to the end zone and get intercepted by Darius Slay. Why would you attempt that? And Philadelphia is looking to take advantage of that turnover. With 44 seconds to go, they have driven all the way down to the Jets' 11-yard line. Jalen Hurts to the end zone, finds Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia, one more time. We would get the ball to start the next half, though. It's a first and 10 all the way down to the Eagles' 21-yard line. McDonald out of shotgun, looking to make this a one-score game. He's going to take off up the middle, and he will have the first down himself all the way to the 10-yard line. A five-yard run from Brees Hall on the very next play. Sets up a second and five from the five. Now out of shotgun, we go back to Hall to the outside, who jukes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. We make this a one-score game. But we are going to go for two to try to make it a field goal game. So from under center, he drops back to pass. Rolling to the outside, needs to get rid of it. He's going to try to take off and get brought down, so we remain down by five. 
but our defense is not having a lot of luck stopping them today. It's a first and 10 at the Jets 14 yard line. Hurts is back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass again. He's going to go over the middle. He finds his man. That's caught by Devontae Smith to set up a second and one. Another shotgun set, and it's going to be another read option. Jalen to the outside will run into the end zone for the second time today. All right, well, some good news in simulation. We actually get a 35-yard touchdown from Jared McDonald to Brendan Rice. I was about to jump in. I was simulating like one, maybe two more plays, but we score off that and make it 23-28. But once again, our defense is having a bit of trouble stopping this offense on a third and two now. At the Jets' 10-yard line, he finds DeAndre Swift on the outside, and he will get down to the one-yard line, setting up a first and goal. Now, obviously, from the half-yard line, we know what play would be coming in real life, but that's luckily not in Madden. First and goal. Jalen back in shotgun with a read option to the outside. He'll break that tackle and then get brought down at the two, so we do meet him in the backfield. We need a goal line stand here and force a field goal. Second and goal from the two. It's going to be a handoff to DeAndre Swift, who will walk in pretty much untouched. Now looking to try to get back in this game. Under five minutes to play, we have driven down to the Eagles 17. McDonald back in shotgun. will look to pass here. He's going to throw this one to the outside. That'll be caught by Brendan Rice, who breaks one tackle and is brought down for a gain of six on the play. Now it's a second and four. At the 12-yard line, Brees Hall is the running back, and that's where we go with it, but he is met by Jordan Davis and brought down to set up a third and five. McDonald back in shotgun at the 12 now. Brees Hall is still the running back, but he will obviously look to pass here. He throws to the outside, caught by Bowers, and they say he was inbounds and goes out of the four. First and goal with 3.44 to play. Back in shotgun again, a quick throw to the end zone. That one will be caught by Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Jets. So it will come down to if the defense can get a stop here. With 3.40 to go, both teams have all three timeouts. Out of shotgun, they hand off to DeAndre Swift to the outside. who will break one tackle and get brought down for a five-yard play, but Lane Johnson is injured. That will stop the clock. Along with that, they also lose one of their best offensive linemen. Second and five now. From their own 30-yard line, Jalen will look to pass here. He's under pressure. Can we please get the sack? He will get brought down by John Franklin Myers, setting up a third and 14. Come on, guys, one more play, and we can give it back to our offense. About three minutes to play here from their own 21. He'll drop back to pass. He's looking to run. He was going to take off, and now he's going to be under pressure and getting sacked on the play by Sauce Gardner on a fourth and 21. They will punt it away. Jared McDonald will take over at his own 45-yard line with 2.19 to play. Back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. He's going over the middle and missing everybody. Second down. We'll try a shotgun formation again. Still at our own 45-yard line. He'll take the snap and drop back. It's going to be a screen to the outside. Caught by Hall, who has blockers in front of him and ends up with an 8-yard play. That play would take us down to the 2-minute warning. So now in a 3rd and 2 from the Eagles 47. McDonald with a quick throw, and he misses Brock Bowers, who was pretty wide open. So it can come down to a 4th down here. 4th and 2. From under center, we give it to Brees Hall that hasn't really worked all day. It's not going to work here, and there is a flag, but I have a feeling it's going to be holding personal foul. It's actually a face mask, so that will actually keep us alive here. We got bailed out on that one. A minute 55 to play. Now the Eagles 31-yard line with a new set of downs. McDonald lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside caught by Bowers, who will be met and brought down immediately. That brings up a second and seven. A minute 30 to play now. At the 29-yard line, he's back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, run a play, back to Brees Hall. Now a quick throw to the outside, caught by Bowers for the quick and easy first down to the 20-yard line. They are actually going to review this one, and I don't know if he was actually in bounds. There's the first foot, and I think that second foot lands out of bounds, but I guess we'll see what they say. They rule that it was actually in bounds, so we get to keep the ball at the 20-yard line. McDonald back in shotgun again. We'll drop back looking to pass one more time. He's going to once again throw to the outside, caught by, I believe, Jalen Waddle for a nine-yard gain. That brings up a second and one with a minute 20 to play. Back in shotgun here. We'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to roll to the outside. McDonald's going to take off inside the 10-5 and into the end zone. We have the lead here late in the game. And we are going to line up and go for two to try to make it a three-point game. He'll take the snap and go quickly to the end zone, and we are officially up 38-35 to 35, thanks to Brendan Rice.
Now Jalen Hurts comes out at his own 20-yard line with a minute and 11 seconds to go with all three timeouts. He's going to start with a pass play, obviously, going deep downfield, and that was almost intercepted by Sauce Gardner. That brings up a second and 10 with a minute seven to play now. He's back in shotgun again. We'll drop back and stand in the pocket. Now going down the sideline again, a wide open DeAndre Swift steps out of bounds of the 46-yard line. All right, guys, we cannot allow some of their best players to remain completely uncovered here. 61 seconds to go. He'll take the snap and look to pass again. Once again, going to the outside, and that one will fall incomplete. They need to get to the 43-yard line for Chase McLaughlin. For a quick second, I was wondering where Jake Elliott was. Then I remember he's actually my kicker, but now he's second and 10. He'll drop back to pass. He's going to go deep downfield. He's got A.J. Brown wide open, and A.J. might be gone. He is into the end zone. Are you kidding me? Who got torched on that? I believe it was Razul Douglas. The former Philadelphia Eagle at corner could not keep up with the current Philadelphia Eagle, A.J. Brown. Now on the kick return, let's see what kind of return we can get. He's going to get met and brought down to 19. With 47 seconds on all three timeouts, can our rookie quarterback pull off some sort of miracle here? Back in shotgun, McDonald will look to pass. He's going to dump this off underneath, caught by Brees Hall, and we will start this drive with about an eight-yard play and burn our first timeout. 40 seconds to go in the game. From our own 27-yard line, McDonald back in shotgun again. Another quick throw, and that's nearly intercepted because he misses Brendan Rice. Now it's a third and two. He's back in shotgun again. Brees Hall is the running back. He'll take the snap and looks to pass. A quick throw to the outside is caught by Brendan Rice. He gets the first down and gets out of bounds. There is 33 seconds to go in the game now. From our own 31, McDonald will look to pass again. He's going to go deep over the middle. He finds his man. That's going to be, I believe, Brendan Rice to the 49. We burn our second timeout. 29 seconds to play. McDonald lines up under center this time. We'll drop back to pass again. It's going to be a quick throw to the outside caught by Brees Hall, who will break that tackle, but then get brought down inbounds. That was not a great decision. We have to burn our final timeout. 20 seconds to go in the game now. At the Eagles' 48-yard line, McDonald back in shotgun. We'll drop back and look to pass, rolling to the outside, and he's finally going to try to take off. Never mind, he just throws it away with 14 seconds. Out of shotgun. I don't know why we're running a play action. He goes to the sideline. That's caught by Bowers, who gets out of bounds of the 38-yard line. There is 10 seconds remaining in this game. McDonald back in shotgun. Brees Hall is the running back here. We'll take the snap. Once again, I don't know why we're running a play action. He's going to step up. He throws on the run deep downfield, but overthrows Garrett Wilson. Five seconds to play. We're just going to have to put this one in the end zone and hope for the best here. McDonald back in shotgun. We'll drop back to the pass. And he's going to let this one go deep downfield. And he throws it through the back of the end zone. So we are going to lose this game and fall to 9-6 and six on the season. What in the hell is happening to this team? Our offense seemingly finally found a rhythm today, putting up 38 points. But our defense was completely missing, allowing 42. Rookie quarterback Jared McDonald went 26 of 38 for 278 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Brees Hall ran for 147 and two scores. Jared McDonald even ran for a touchdown. Receiving Brock Bowers, nine for 90. Brendan Rice got a touchdown. And Jalen Waddle got a touchdown. Over on defense, Quincy Williams led the team in tackles. We got two sacks, one from John Franklin Myers, and then a half of one from Sauce Gardner and Jermaine Johnson. And we got one interception from CJ Mosley. Now we can see how bad Jalen Hurts completely torched us. 25 of 31 for 407 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. On the ground, DeAndre Swift ran for 55 yards and two scores. Jalen also ran for two touchdowns. Receiving A.J. Brown, eight for 178 in a score, including the game winner and Dallas Goddard, seven for 80 in a score. Well, once again, as we lose our game, Buffalo picks up the win, and they are now 11-4 on the season, so they now have a two-game lead in the division. Are we still listed as the sixth seed? As of right now, yes, we are. So currently, we are still set to make the playoffs, but we've really, really got to figure out exactly what the hell is going on.